Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. I have a short video here. This time is testing a cluster that I repaired about four or five months ago. Uh, this is for Lee Harris. Uh, he has the cluster um, and he said he has some uh, glitches still happening. I said, you know, let me double check the instrument cluster to make sure it's not the cluster and is on the car if that is the case. All right, so he said a couple of weeks on 725. Again, this is like uh, two months ago or so. Uh, he sent me a video of the problem having, you know, happening on the vehicle. So I saw that, yes, when he was driving, the gauges start to become erratic. I explained that these clusters are well known for the connector to become loose or pushing the board in and then uh, connecting. But he did double check that and he says, yes, that's not the case. I don't see that happening. So I have the cluster connected with the ignition on probably for, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour. I did run the cluster, as you can see, for 2.4 miles to let it, you know, get a speed and everything. And all is working normally here. So as right now i'm thinking the problem is in is on the on the vehicle itself let me put the r you know the mileage so we can see that indeed we have the instrument cluster working and i can change the temperature and the fuel and they are really really working uh, you know as they are supposed to if i change the temperature to high um, and the fuel level comes a little bit. I have those two cables together, so they will be coming slowly up because, again, they're sharing the same path to ground, at least for me here for my testing. But, uh, yeah, I can change then the speed and go high and go low, and as you can see, it's nice and smooth. I have um, a setting of around 14, 15 hertz, and that's around 10 miles per hour, and this is what I usually keep the cluster on to see if there's any glitches onto it. So as you can see, I'm in 10 miles an hour, sorry, 10 miles an hour in there, and I'm around 15 to 14 uh, hertz, and that is on the signal that I'm giving. As you can see, the temperature went up. Um, if I change this to the setting that I keep, this should go let me just make sure. Rather bought off. Trying to change the settings again. <clears throat> okay, perfect. And looks like it is happening now here. Because right now I am supplying what that was working. I have to really work on this wire. Give me just one second because actually I can probably grab one of these ones because the pin is a little loose in here, although I was working before. Yes, it was just a pin now. Do you see that? Because, yeah, this, this connector in there was very loose. So disregard that. <laughs> But again, you know, uh, based on the speed, the mileage will change a little faster than normal. That glitch in there is because of the signal that I'm providing. Uh, let me go over to 970. This should come down to zero, and they do. Let's go back to the normal reading that I usually use, and they're coming up. All right, so that was just a cable in there. And I can change the lights. I usually blinkers and high beam checking in here. So all is working good. I'm going to, again, uh, just keep uh, testing it. <clears throat> Another thing that I want to share with you guys, because some of you have uh, asked me, like, hey, dude, I don't see any pa uh, Patreon or link on your YouTube channel, so we can help you because we really appreciate all the videos you are sharing and all the knowledge you're sharing. So I just did that. I did have a Patreon. I don't know why I never <laughs> had the link in here. But, yeah, there's, there's now a link in there, and you can go over to the links on the bottom, all you need to do is um, if you go over home, you will just see this link in here, or you can just go over to about, and then you will be all uh, the links. I have the links on Bavarian Motor Repairs as well here, because this is the shop that I work, 
and this is uh, Elden Collision Center, a really reputable collision center. They do minor uh, diagnostics and repair on mechanic, like oil services and stuff like that, but it's a very good shop here in, in Herdon, Virginia. I used to work for them, and that's what I recommend them. So again, if you want to help the channel, help me uh, create more content for you guys, I will definitely appreciate that. All right, so um, that's it. Um, I think, uh, well, the only thing that I want to show is indeed the heat did drop this very minimum. So this is, again, 75, 748. Uh, let me just look for that one. And we can see that 75, 674. So uh, what is that? Not even 100 miles, right? So yes, those vehicles are parked and kept for just long trips and stuff like that. And I understand it is a very uh, low mileage vehicle, but are beautiful vehicles. And I'm trying to help Lee. He is a good customer and I'm always backing up my repairs and trying to help others, especially when I did repairs with them. So again, I'm going just to um, test longer this for Lee Harris. Um, I don't see um, anything happening yet. Uh, the other thing that I do is keeping the ignition on. I will just remove the speed signal, and you can see that the signal goes to zero. And then I can uh, temperature and that. Let's say yeah, you will keep because that's just the way the car will react, right? So you just park the car, you stop it, and then you put the ignition on. Fuel gauge should be there, and the temperature is there. And then these two should be just like that. Because he's concerned, he said that. Um, when he leaves the vehicle with the ignition, and I've seen it, it just the needles start to climb by itself. And that for me is a loose contact. It can be a bad wiring on the power or ignition, because it can be either one. It could be the battery, the constant battery voltage, or the ignition loosen. And I'm going to try to reproduce this since it's not acting. So if I kill the battery, these needles will stay there, because they were never, you see, reset. You see, that's exactly what it can happen. So if I put the ignition back on, see, they go back to zero. And that's what they, you know, it usually happens when you reset the, the cluster. And that's the way it should react. But so if you are having an intermittent wire connection that will uh, set uh, different readings when the vehicle is reading and then it will make the needles go into different spots that they're not supposed to. But yeah, so far here, I can make all the needles goes to zero, keep the vehicle with the ignition on. I mean, I can turn everything on, lights and blinkers. Again, this is my simulation test. And nothing is happening. All right, so this is already a minute talking. But yeah, I want to share uh, four diagrams. You can look at the uh, sagas of all the uh, Aerovan clusters that I have repaired. And you will find all the connections and everything in there if you're doing a test for yourself. But yeah, I will recommend Lee to maybe take it to an electrician, a uh, diagnostician, to check powers and grounds and make sure they're clean and everything is uh, voltage drop test to the instrument cluster because I don't see nothing in here. Again, I'm just going to uh, reconnect the <clears throat> speed. So this goes back to that, set the temperature and the uh, fuel to the correct levels as I always keep it. And as you can see, everything is working normal. If I see something different, I will be recording it. Uh, every time I switch technician on and off, as you can see, the clock comes back from 1, one o'clock. But yeah, so that is just the way it is. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for visiting the channel. If you have any any of these clusters, feel, uh, please feel free to send it. I have all parts in stock. You can email me. I already put the link also for my email on the website and on the YouTube channel. So if you go over... <laughs> to my YouTube channel and you go over to contact information. Uh, let me just make sure because I know I did put that in there. Let me see. Sometimes you cannot see your own information, not as another person. <clears throat> oh yeah, right here, see, you see details, view email address. So right here is now in the YouTube channel. You can go in there and find my email address so you can contact me directly as soon as you need any information. All right, guys, thank you so much.
don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.